What's up guys, so today I'm going to be swapping my uh, climate control uh, stock lights to some LEDs. So hopefully they'll look brighter and more blue. So shout out to Greg for the idea. So let's get it. Alright, so for starters, you need to remove your uh, radio dash trim. Then once you remove all the, all the, all the screws around, you want to push down on these center tabs. Uh, which is these right here just push down these are little locking things they go on the top so push down and then once you remove all the screws you're gonna you're gonna have some little tabs right here there should be four so with the flat head wedge it in and clip down and then this cover should come out <clears throat> that exposes the little LED uh, or the little bulbs so you don't have to remove the screws you can just get a flathead or in my case I'm using a knife so there's this little groove right here you just kind of have to give it a quarter of a turn I'm sure you guys get the idea whatever just give it a quarter of a turn then these should come out these little uh, like halogen bulbs because they do have the little filler element in the middle so you can just remove those and then just add your new uh, LED uh, T10 bolt I believe but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use some LEDs that I have from my cluster so I'm gonna try to solder them here so if you guys are curious just by removing these four screws right here be careful because you do have some ribbon connectors right here so you can kind of just flip this to the side and there will be some LEDs right here those LEDs are for this little window uh, indicators right here so I believe they're like orange-ish they're like orange-ish orange ish and I believe these are green can't remember but there, there was one that was green I think it's the ACs that are green so you can replace those as well I'm not going to but if you would want to replace them you just have to remove these LEDs and as you can see these are the same ones as the cluster ones I don't know if you saw my previous video but these are the same LED the PLCC2 I believe uh, but yeah, and as you can see, this little indicator tells you where's your ground. So that little indentation has to uh, match the like the, where the arrow is pointing. So so yeah, for these you do have to flip it. Uh, it might be a little tricky, but it's totally doable. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab my uh, soldering gun, get it warmed up, and uh, look for my LEDs. Then I'll come by and uh, get these uh, ready to... Uh... Guys, so I had to kind of improvise this little setup right here. Because this little guy was uh, all scratching and whining at the door. Because I was outside. So I just want to kind of improvise this little setup next to, next to this guy. So he's just chilling there. But anyways, um, I grabbed my multimeter. Uh, I picked this up a while back at Goodwill. Uh, got it on sale at their dollar tag, whatever. So this is pretty neat because each leg, I mean, it's a computer uh, power supply, so it goes all the way to 12 volts. So I don't remember exactly which one, but that's why I got the multimeter. I just never gotten around to like mark them. But I mean, you do have to kind of bypass it. So I just kind of bypass those two that way. It sends a signal that it's on, so it gives me 12 volts, 9 volts, uh, 5 volts, and 3.5. So that's why it's pretty neat, because sometimes I mean you have to struggle finding those batteries. So I mean I'm just gonna replicate the 12 volts here to uh, get my uh, LED turned on. I want to see how it looks first before I actually solder it. I want to see if uh, if all I'd, if I mean if I just gotta put a white LED and if it's gonna light up because some of these or sometimes they have a little hue 
so it's kind of like a tent so i want to i know these i don't know if you see them obviously blue is for cold and the the red is for the heater so as you can see right there like they are colored so like i pretty much just got to put a white one and it's going to amplify the the red and the white but I want to see if over here, if I can just put a white and if it's going to like actually light up white or just have like a little red reflective around it. So uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Uh, I'll probably pause it. That's a white. Uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit like purple blue. Uh, so yeah, that's the white. All right, guys, as you can see, this is the blue. This one definitely makes uh, the things look well, really blue and really uh, bright. So I think I am going with the blue. But just for reference, I'll show you guys how the red look as well in case you want to go with the whole uh, red uh, SI uh, lighting. So red. So as you can see, it looks really red. Uh, it might look a little brighter once you actually put the LED like right centered. Cause I mean, I'm kind of just off the, off the little uh, plastic on the back. But I mean, you could definitely tell it's red. Uh, I mean, if I were to turn off the light, so I mean, kind of make it dark, you could see that it's red. So I think it'll look kind of cool to match the, uh, I think the little radio has the little window on the top and it will then the cluster if it's red. But yeah guys, I think I am gonna go with blue. So swap all of these blue and I think for this right here I'm gonna go white. That way it'll amplify the the blue and the red uh, tint. But yeah guys, uh, I guess uh, let me get my LEDs ready. Uh, let's get it done. Right. Uh, the right bulb you may not need to solder, you can just uh, plug and play, just put it on and twist it. Or maybe twist it and kind of fold the things. But I mean, they might be a little harder to find or expensive. Because honestly, I don't really know what they're called. But I do think, I do think that the T10s would fit. But I mean, I didn't want to wait. And I mean, I can make it work, so I just solder little points right there. So these things aren't going to go anywhere. So yeah, let me just unsolder the ones I have to switch. And I'll take care of that. Then I'll have to go to the knobs. All right, guys, so. Let's get it. So you can see all of them light up. Till this day, I kind of don't have a dome light, so kind of in the darkness right here. But anyways, I went ahead and buckle everything up. Uh, these things just push down to install them. Uh, make sure you, uh, before I remove them, either put them all the way to uh, like hold and, uh, and off. Because they do have to go back in the way you remove them. So, I mean, if you were on three... You have to, uh, I mean, if you took them off on three, you have to put the dial it up on three and then push it back in. Otherwise, you're just going to jam it and it's going to break. So, yeah, guys, now I just got to uh, get the connector, plug it in, and I'll show you guys. All right, guys. Oh, and FYI, uh, the SI cluster does fit. It's a uh, plug and play, as you can see. Uh, I'm currently running it because uh, I was testing it. This is my buddy's uh, And he wants me to remove uh, some uh, Some error lights, but anyways, let me turn on the, the lights So as you can see everything lights up It's pretty bright so the, the camera is not really focusing but I mean, I don't know. I dig it so uh, oh, I think, the, I think the key has to be on. So let me grab it real quick. I didn't actually... Uh, 
I didn't actually change the LEDs. There we go. So I didn't actually change the LEDs. Uh, I mean, I uh, yeah, I don't really mess with them anyways. But as you can see, they all light up. Well, this one the car has to be on. But uh, make sure uh, all the buttons are like clickable. They don't get jammed or anything. Uh, so as you can see, you can hear the little clicks. Well, you see the AC's on. And this one's on too. So, yeah. I guess I didn't mess anything up. But yeah, guys. Uh, I mean, this is for the blue. I might do a red one if my friend wants me to swap his. And I mean, maybe I'll show you guys uh, how that looks. And this one, I mean, it, it, it's cool red. But I mean, I'm sure you can change the LED on this one. But I mean, I know a lot of people like the whole red. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you guys got any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll try to look up the actual uh, LED that's required for this mod. But as you can see, you can kind of just uh, uh, improvise and use whatever. But yeah, guys, I hope this video uh, inspires you guys to swap yours. As always, stay wicked.